Hello, this is problem set number two, problem four. The atmosphere of Mars is mostly CO2, with a molar mass of 44 grams per mole, under a pressure of 650 pascals, which we shall assume remains constant. In many places, the temperature varies from 0 degrees Celsius in summer to minus 100 degrees Celsius in winter. Over the course of a Martian year, what are the ranges of A, the RMS speeds of CO2 molecules, and B, the density in molecules per cubic meter of oxygen? Okay. Uh, I guess let's start with writing down the givens. So for CO2, you know, the molar mass is 44 grams per mole. Okay. Pressure is 650 pascals. And the temperature ranges, <clears throat> excuse me, from minus 100 degrees Celsius to zero degrees Celsius. Okay. And for part A, what is the RMS speed, right, of the carbon dioxide molecules? So RMS speed of CO2 molecules. That's what I'm trying to find. <clears throat> okay. Um, we know the equation for... RMS speed, right? That is, actually there's two things. It could be either the square root of three times the Boltzmann constant, Kb, times temperature in Kelvin, and divided by the mass. Okay, I'll write that down. So that's the mass. That's the Boltzmann constant. And this is that is temperature in Kelvin. Okay. <clears throat> but there's also another way of writing down the Boltzmann constant, and that is the square root of three times the gas constant, the molar gas constant R, times the temperature divided by the molar mass. That's capital M. This was, this was tiny m, okay? Um, and I'll again write those down. So here we have the molar gas constant. temp and K and Kelvin and here we have molar mass okay and just on a side note okay this this isn't really the part of the problem but this just explains how you go from this part to this part and why they're equal um, and that is because so the Boltzmann constant, Kb, is equal to the molar gas constant, R, over Avogadro's number, right? Also, the molar mass, molar mass, is also equal to Avogadro's number times mass. Boltzmann constant. This is uh, the mol uh, the molar gas constant. Avogadro's number. This is molar mass. This is Avogadro's number, and this is mass. Okay. 
So <clears throat> you could actually see that if we plug in um, Avogadro's number right here, this guy, based on this formula right here, uh, we can see how these two things, this and this, are equal, okay? And I'll, I'll do that. So Na, based on this, Na is equal to molar mass over mass, right? So this becomes molar gas constant over molar mass over mass. Or uh, molar gas constant times mass over molar mass. So if we plug this in for Kb on this side, we would find that this is equal to 3 times R times mass over molar constant times temperature over mass, which is just 3 uh, R M T over mass, molar mass, right? And then you'll see that these two cancel out and we're left with this guy, which is what we have here, okay? So that was, that was a very long side note, but I just wanted you guys to understand why they're equal, okay? Okay, so anyways, these these two these two equations are equal for RMS speed. They're the same thing. Um, and because we are given molar mass, I will actually use this this equation rather than rather than this. Okay. All right, so I'll just plug things in right now, all right? So, so at 100 degrees Celsius, sorry, my, at minus 100 degrees Celsius, not 100 degrees, at minus 100 degrees Celsius, and I'll convert it to temperature in Kelvin, which is 173 Kelvin, right? My RMS speed, is equal to the square root of 3 times uh, the molar gas constant, 8.314 joules per mole times Kelvin, um, times the temperature, which is 173 Kelvin, divided by the molar mass, which is uh, 44 grams per mole, okay? And just looking at the units right here, oops, I'm not going to get, so with, with uh, RMS speed, I'm assuming my units are going to be mass per, or sorry, uh, meters per second, right? That's the units I want. And I can see that I won't get that from these guys, when they all cancel out, right? Moles are going to cancel out, Kelvin's going to cancel out, and I'm left with joules. So there are a few things that I do know I could convert, right? And some of them are, let's use, um, let's use this color for units. So for joules, I know that that is equal to uh, kilograms times meters squared over second squared. So this unit joules and this unit kilogram times meters squared over second squared are equivalent. Okay. So with that being said, with that being said, 
let's uh, plug, let's use this units rather than joules in this same equation. So 3 times 8.314 times kilograms times meters squared over seconds squared multiplied by 173 Kelvin over, oh, another thing, I won't be able to cancel out my kilograms and grams, right? So I'm actually going to convert the molar mass to kilograms. So molar mass 44 uh, grams per mole is also equal to 0 0.044 kilograms per mole, right? Just converting grams to kilograms, okay? So instead of writing it in grams per kilograms, now it is 0 0.044 kilograms per mole. Yeah? And Oh, I'm I'm missing a unit right here. Um 8.3 oh okay so I forgot this guy moles Kelvin right so actually so that's actually kilograms meter squared second squared times mole times Kelvin. Okay. I just brought these guys down. Okay. Um, all right. So now I could cancel out my units and I would plug this in my calculator and I would come out with the answer I would get is the square root of 98,067.41 meters squared over second squared, right? And that comes out to 313 meters per second, okay? And that is my RMS speed at negative 100 degrees Celsius, okay? Okay, and at um, let's see, what's the other temperature? At zero degrees Celsius, zero degrees Celsius, that's 273 Kelvin, okay? My RMS speed is equal to the square root of uh, square root of three times the constant R, which is eight point three one four. This unit, right? I won't show you how to. Do that because I just did earlier. Times kilogram meter squared over second squared. And remember, this is just the same as joules, right? Okay, so, and then also, let's not forget this part, mole over Kelvin. So, times mole times Kelvin. And then the temperature, which is in Kelvin, which is 273 Kelvin, divided by um, the molar mass, right, which is 0 0.044 kilograms per mole. Okay? And cancel out the units and plug it in your calculator. You should get 393 meters per second as the RMS speed at uh, zero degrees Celsius. So our answer for part A, uh, therefore, the R, 
MS speeds of carbon dioxide molecules will range from uh, 313 meters per second to 393 meters per second, okay? And that is the final answer for part A. Okay. So moving on to part B, uh, the density, we have to find the density in moles per cubic meter of oxygen. Okay, so part B, uh, find density in moles per cubic meter of oxygen. So what I'm going to use to find density is the ideal gas law equation, okay? Ideal gas law equation. And that is PV equals N R T, right? And we'll just, this is pressure. Um, that's pressure, this is volume, okay? This is amount of gas, N is the amount of gas in moles. R, that is the molar gas constant, right? And T is temp, temperature in Kelvin. All right. So I could find the density by rearranging this ideal gas law equation. And I want it in moles per cubic meter, right? I know that moles, so moles, I get that here with N, right? The amount of gas in moles. And for a cubic meter, I get that in volume, right? So I'll just rearrange the ideal gas law equation and get that. Okay, so moles, that's N over volume, which is cubic meters, is equal to, um, that would be equal to pressure over molar gas constant times temperature in Kelvin, right? And this was all given. So pressure, I was told, 650 pascals, which we assume remains constant. So for both uh, minus 100 degrees Celsius to zero degrees Celsius, it's gonna be 650 pascals for pressure, okay? So that's gonna be 650 pascals over R, which is eight, 0.314 uh, joules per mole times Kelvin. And temperature, so this is for 100 degrees Celsius, or minus 100 degrees Celsius, that is 173 Kelvin, okay? So, I'll just take these off. So I know I want my, my density in moles per cubic meter, right? And looking at this equation, I could see these units, they won't give me moles per cubic meter. It would, so I'd have to rearrange uh, the units, right? And again, this is another side note, but for, Oops. For pascals, the unit pascals, 
it's actually, which is a force over area, right? Newtons per meter squared. There's another way of writing Newtons, which is kilograms times meter per second squared. This, this is just Newtons. So this guy, oops, over meter squared is the same as Pascal's. Okay, that unit is equivalent. So I'm gonna plug that in here, right? Um, so equals 650 uh, kilograms times meter per second squared over meters. Okay, that's the same as 650 pascals. Okay. Um, and I'm going to divide that by the... Okay, so another thing I want to change is this. I want to get rid of joules, right? And we talked about this earlier here. So I'm going to use, instead of joules, I'll use kilograms times meter squared over second squared, okay? So that will be 8.314 kilograms times meter squared over second squared. That's only for joules. So I still have to add the times mole times Kelvin, okay? And my temperature, 173 Kelvin. All right, I'm just gonna take this guy out. Ah, not that, all right, forget it. Nope, all right, forget it. And when I plug this in the calculator and, and cancel out units, I would get my answer is zero zero point four five two moles per cubic meter. And that would be my density in moles per cubic meter. Okay. At minus one hundred degrees Celsius. So let's do the same thing, but this time for uh, the other temperature limit, which is zero degrees Celsius. So, so N over V equals pressure over RT. And for zero degrees Celsius, I would still have the same uh, pressure, which is 650 Pascals, right? Or 650 kilogram meter over second squared over meter divided by 8.314 kilogram times meter squared over second squared times mole times Kelvin, All right? And this time my temperature is at zero degrees Celsius or 273 Kelvin. Okay, and again, cancel out the units, plug it in the calculator. I would get that the density in moles per cubic meter for zero degrees Celsius is equal to 0 0.286 moles per cubic meter. And that is at zero degrees Celsius. Okay, so my answer would then be for part B. Therefore, the density of oxygen ranges from uh, 0 0.286 moles per cubic meter to 0 0.452 moles per cubic meter. And that would be my answer for part B.
hopefully that was clear and that helped. I also tried to explain, uh, you know, why we changed the units so that we could cancel it out to our desired units, right?